Hello everyone. This video is on DHCP configuration. The router here uh, we have in our topology will act as a DHCP server for 10.0 slash 8 and 20.0 slash 8 networks. Uh, we have three PCs. They are in 10 segment and three PCs they are in 20.0 segment so uh, our first step is to enable the DHCP service on our router uh, which by default is enabled and if for any reason an administrator disabled the service uh, this is how you can enable DHCP service uh, now uh, configure an IP address on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 to act as a default gateway for 10.0 slash 8 LAN segment. Uh, now, uh, now next step is to create the DHCP pool that defines the network of IP addresses that will be given out to the clients. So the command uh, to create a DHCP pool is IP DHCP pool and the name you want uh, to define. So here I have defined crypto. So crypto is the name of the DHCP IP pool we are creating for 10.0.0.0 slash 8. Now network. Uh, 10.0.0.0 and subnet mask 255.0.0.0 tells the router to issue an IP addresses for the network which translates to the range 10.0.0.1 to 10.255.254 we have uh, DSCB parameters that will be given to each client. Uh, these include the, D, uh, the DNS server and and uh, the default uh, router. So to use DNS, you must have a DNS server configured to handle the resolution process. Now exit, and uh, uh, all we need now is to exclude the IP addresses. Uh, we don't want our DHCP server giving out so here uh, we have to drop back to global configuration mode so now the uh, the the command is is IP DHCP excluded address 10.0.0.3 till 10.0.0.13 so I want all these addresses uh, to be excluded I want one more address that is 10.0.0.2 okay so in the same uh, sort of configuration we have to perform on uh, 20.0.0.0 slash 8 subnet so uh, we have to configure uh, an IP address on fast ethernet 1 slash 0 to act as a default gateway now the uh, the IP address is 20.0.0.1 slash 8 that is 255.0.0.0 now we have to uh, to configure the DHCP pool and now the name of the pool is is network so IP DHCB pool network and IP DHCB pool network is a command and now we have to uh, to uh, to configure network 20.0.0.0 
default router that should be uh, the same IP we have configured as a default gateway for 20.0 slash 8 network we have DNS uh, server 20.0.0.80 so the default router uh, the command like the the IP address that we uh, we mentioned there in our command default router 20.0.0.1 should be the default gateway for this uh, for this segment right and if the uh, the DHCP server is away from our segment then we have to configure a different IP alright so now exit and IP DHCP excluded address 20.0.0.3 and uh, till 20.0.0.13 so these are the ranges and uh, 20.0.0.15 is one other uh, IP address that I want to exclude now exit okay <coughs> all right so now uh, we have to uh, to to click on the host and under the desktop tab there is IP configuration select DHCP and see the magic the IP address is 10.0.0.14 uh, the first IP address the first available IP address we have the default gateway that is 10.1 DNS server is 10.80 okay so again requesting IP address and DHCP request successful desktop IP configuration DHCP radio button requesting IP address 10.0.0.16 so none of the IP addresses uh, are from the excluded address range so the range was uh, 10.0.0.2 till 10.0.0.13 so none of the IP addresses are from uh, that range now uh, the same they are in 20 network IP address 20.2 we have uh, 20.1 the default gateway 20.80 DNS server all right so we uh, we got 20.0.0.2 20.0.0.14 14 and 20.0.0.16 respectively on uh, all the three PCs they are in 20.0.0.0 network so let us ping 20. so we are there in 20.0.0.16 and pinging 20.0.0.2 so reply getting reply okay that is all good wonderful okay so we will verify they are in 10.0 network as well so we are getting reply we are getting reply so our network is up uh, we got an IP addresses from the defined range from the defined scope from the defined pole all right so uh, now uh, we have to verify from the show command so the first show command is show IP DHCP binding 
so this command is to display address bindings on uh, Cisco uh, dynamic host configuration protocol server so this command is to show the uh, show the uh, IP DSCB binding there in the user mode alright so notice that uh, the IP address is 10.2 till 10.13 and uh, 20.3 till 20. Uh, 13 and 15 have not been assigned to the clients all right so let us uh, check the hardware address that was showing there in the uh, there in the show IP DHCP banding so we have the IP address as well as the corresponding uh, binding MAC address so let us run IP config we are on PC6 and the link local IPv6 address is FE80 2E0 F9FF FE43661 alright so this is the IPv6 EUI64 format address alright and uh, the address that is showing here uh, in corresponding to 10.0.0.14 is uh, the 48 bit MAC address right so uh, so IPv6 uh, link local address is obtained through the 48 bit MAC address alright so uh, we will cover IPv6 EUI uh, 64 uh, address format in other video sure all right so we have uh, other commands we have uh, show IP DHCB conflict uh, this command is to uh, to display address conflicts found by a server when addresses are offered to the client all right so 10.0.0.1 and 20.0.0.1 are already assigned as the uh, the IP addresses of 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 both the segments. Now we have uh, show IP DHCP pool to display information about the DHCP address pools. All right, so we have pool name crypto. Uh, that is the name of the address pool. We have another pool is is network we have total addresses uh, we have so total addresses are uh, the total number of addresses in the pool uh, least addresses that are the number of least addresses in the pool all right okay so you can <clears throat> you can check here all right so the next uh, uh, the next command is show ib or DHCB relay information trusted sources so this command uh, show IP display relay show IP DHCB relay information trusted sources all right information trusted sources so this command uh, displays all interfaces that are uh, configured to be a trusted source for the DHCB relay information again we will uh, cover DHCB relay agent uh, in depth in our other video all right okay fine so uh, so DHCB is a service that enable uh, a server to automatically assign an IP address to a computer from a uh, from a defined range of numbers uh, that is a scope a pool configured for a given network and nearly all IP addresses are dynamic and it is a part of the application layer okay so 
so process of assigning the IP addresses by the DHCP server is also known as DORA so D as in discover or as in offer R as in request and A as in acknowledgement so discover offer request and acknowledgement so um, here is how the DHCP process works uh, when your system go online so uh, here is step one is client sends a DHCP discover message as a broadcast meaning client makes a UDP broadcast to the server uh, about the DHCP discovery as it doesn't know where the DHCP server is reachable in the network it sends a UDP broadcast with the source IP address as 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and uh, destination IP address as 255.255.255.255 along with its own MAC address alright so the next uh, step is DHCP server uh, replies with a DHCP offer and uh, any listening DHCP servers if we have more than one DHCP server in our network so uh, we will offer their in configuration with available IP address, lease time, submit mask, gateway and uh, DNS information to your workstation. Uh, the third step is in response to the offer, uh, client request the server. So client is not having an IP address, uh, you know, still. So they do not have a, a, a IP address so now a client makes a request to the server for the IP information being offered by the DHCP server so client sends a DHCP request message so now the fourth step is a DHCP server replies uh, with the DHCP acknowledgement message uh, the DHCP server you requested for the IP configuration information then acknowledges your request and uh, it releases you the IP configuration information and last but not the least if none of the DHCP server is available uh, in your network or the connection is broken to your DHCP server uh, a PIPA would automatically assign a unique class B IP address uh, to each machine from 169.254.0.0 to 169.254.255.255 uh, DHCP takes place instantly and entirely behind the scenes and we as everyday ordinary computer users never have to think about it that is all uh, here in this video so thank you for watching this video and please like share and subscribe goodbye and have a wonderful time bye bye